So I'm seeing kind of the final uh, phases of the of the closure plan here for the Mount Washington uh, copper mine site. Still to go uh, on the site here would be the actual revegetation. Once they finish with uh, the placement of the topsoil, the final placement here, we'll have some revegetation crews coming in to actually plant the site up to alder and to uh, seed, grass seed uh, the area. You know, a lot of it will be uh, kind of the, the engineered green because a lot of the, the site up there isn't, is too steep to actually put, on, put uh, the topsoil on, so they'll be hydro seeding it, so that, that will come up flush with green. But the rest of the site here will be, will be planted with, uh, with alders, Sitka alders, which are kind of the slide alders, the, the small alders. They, they help kind of firm up the site and, and add a lot of uh, nitrogen to the soil, so they're, they're kind of the, the, the first species. And a lot of it will be uh, clovers and those type of things to also, again, to fix the nitrogen in the soil and help the, the native vegetation as it, it slowly blows in from the side. Yeah, there you can see some of the berry bushes that were transplanted with the, with the stumps. Uh, all the root material and everything else came over with them, so they're ready to go. And it was a nice wet year for them this year, so they're doing quite well. Um, we're very pleased with this. Uh, we're, we're just finishing the, the capping now, spreading organics, uh, lots of stumps and, and structure to, uh, to what used to be a mine. Um, we're hoping once the, uh, it gets revegetated, it's going to be blend into the natural landscape. It'll be a great, uh, uh, great little uh, natural area as opposed to what was here in the last few decades. One of the strengths of this whole project over the years, it's really been a partnership between the local community, the various government agencies, uh, the landowner, Timber West, uh, various environmental groups, and that's really been the strength of this project. It's bringing people together, resources and expertise to find a way to move forward. Uh, that eventually, ultimately led to the province uh, coming up three years ago with four and a half million dollars in funding to complete the remediation of the site where we're standing right now. We did all of the reviews of all of the technical documentation that supported this. That would be the geochemistry, the water quality, and then the engineering plans to complete this as, it's, as it sits. We followed that up with site inspections during the work to ensure it was being done according to the approved plan and then for the worker safety component of it as well. The Solon River Restoration Society has been an important part of the partnership for many years. And it's all about embracing the principles of shared stewardship and everyone really has a role in bringing this river and bringing this mine site back to where it should be. Uh, we've had a, a terrific working relationship with the Restoration Society over the years and it, it's, it's really been something cool to be part of over those years as we've worked together on all facets of, of trying to bring the mine site back as well as the river. There's been a real sense of trust amongst all the various partners and the Society's been a very large part of that. I know there's been people like Charles Brandt and others who have been involved in this project for probably 25 to 30 years. So to see people continuing over those years, that's a real sense of dedication and commitment that they've put to this. And, and to see the river coming back and to see fish coming back and to come up here and see the mine site, that has to be incredibly rewarding, not only to all of them. I know it's also rewarding to me as well. This actually has been a really good project for everybody. It was, uh, uh, it was really amazing to see how couple of different ministries and a group of volunte local volunteers could take a real positive approach to something of this scale and everybody seemed to melt together and make it work really really well it was it was a great learning experience and something that we could take into the future wow <clears throat> this feels amazing I mean I remember the first time I came up here oh, 1997 <clears throat> and it just looked like devastation it just was horrible I thought how could we ever let something like this happen and here it is 2011 and I'm looking at a completely different uh, scenario with uh, material on top of the old site to both seal it and now to absorb the rainfall slow the hydrology down little stream beds to carry the water away nice and clean and everything that caused all the problems safely sealed below. This is incredible. Um, this is the first time I've seen it uh, since a lot of this uh, slash is in place. And you can really see that they've taken that extra care up here. Uh, Quantum Murray's done a fabulous job. And behind me here you can see these snags that they've stood up. This all creates biodiversity. Once this is all planted and we have uh, it's all green again, 
um, it's like it's going to be like it never happened. Uh, Twenty years from now, this will all be completely naturalized again. This is fantastic. We're here today uh, looking at the, the mine site uh, that, that's had work done on it, uh, more or less finished uh, last year. Uh, there was planting that was done in here, but we're at a pretty high elevation here. Uh, this uh, area was under 20 meters of snow last year, if you can imagine uh, 20 meters, that's, that's total accumulation. Uh, when we actually dug out in the springtime, we had to dig through about 15 feet of snow, of compacted snow to get down to our sample points. So it, it takes a, a lot, long time. The growing season here is short. It, uh, it's only probably about a two, two month uh, growing season. But we do see a lot of alder uh, coming, coming up here. They were, they were planted on site and they'll provide a good uh, source of seed for, for uh, the continuation. There's also some berry bushes that came in with the logging debris that you can see spread around the site. And that, uh, they're stabilizing nicely, so they should uh, hopefully be a, a good seed stock for, for berry bush production. We hope to see this kind of look like a, a Mount Washington meadow in the, in the future. The site to me looks great. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a past memory of a fairly large uh, open pit here that uh, was uh, rusty and, uh, and had all kinds of colors of seeps, uh, various uh, hues of uh, whites and, and grays of, uh, of material moving through here. So this, you know, may look like a slash to most people, but it looks like a, a natural ground to me now. Uh, you can see that the the debris itself is stable, the, the, the ground is stable, the, the, it, it, the, the boys when they actually move the stumps here may put them up uh, upright so that it actually does look like a, a cut down forest rather than, uh, than just a jumble of debris. Well, it feels like a great accomplishment for the group. I, I think I can speak for the, the, the group. And, uh, you know, we've, there's a number of us who have been on this. Uh, some predated me on, uh, on the push for this. Charles Brandt was one of the uh, initial voices to, uh, to stand up and to, to, to say that we had to do something about this. And we're all quite satisfied that we've, uh, we've got this. Essentially, the, the river is recovering. The, uh, the, the, all the, the sampling of the, the biota in there is showing that the, the insect uh, are recovering nicely. The coho uh, uh, populations are looking good, and there's lots of lots of fry in the river this year. So, uh, you know, definitely there are signs of the river coming back to life.